Hi guys! Hello grade 5! This is Mom Chris. Welcome back to our science class. We are still on our quarter 2, week 6 with our Pivot 4A module. Our lesson is all about modes of reproduction in plants. So let's go, sit back, just watch and listen. Modes of reproduction in plants Like other organisms, plants can also reproduce using different ways. In the previous lesson, you learned about how plants undergo sexual reproduction. At this point, you will recognize other means of plant reproduction, specifically through vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is an asexual reproduction in plants using different parts like stem, roots, and leaves to produce new plants. Asexual reproduction does not involve the use of seeds to propagate. This lesson will give you an understanding on the different modes of reproduction among flowering and non-flowering plants. Doing the different activities or tasks in this lesson will help you identify the different parts that can be used to propagate or to produce new plants aside from seeds. The previous lesson provides you the understanding about flowers as a productive organ of fruit-bearing plants to produce seeds to grow new plants. In general, plants are classified into two major groups, flowering and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants are those that have an obvious flower as an accessory organ like this one. In botany, branch of science that deals with the study of plants, they are called as angiosperms. Plants belong to angiosperm which commonly are produced by sexually or by means of their flowers. The presence of flowers may give clue that the plant produces that mature within the fruits. There are two groups of angiosperms, the dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants. Dicotyledonous, dicotyledonous plants are plants with netted veins and with two cotyledons in its, in its embryo. Some examples of dicotyledonous plants are beans, peas, daisies, while monocotyledonous plants are bamboos, bananas, and lilies. Look at these examples of monocot and dicot. They have differences in seed, roots, vascular, leaf, and flowers. In monocot, we have one cotyledon, fibrous roots, scattered, vascular, leaves, leaf is parallel veins, and the flower is multiples of three. In dicot, there are two cotyledons. Top roots, ring root, a uh, ring vascular, net like veins, and there are four or five flower uh, multiples of petals for the flowers. So in monocots, one cotyledon, floral parts in trees, parallel leaf veins, pollen grain has one four or four row and the vascular bundles through stems ground tissue. And in dicots, two cotyledons, floral parts in four or fives, net like leaf veins, and the pollen grain has three or three pores or furrows, and stems vascular bun bundles arranged in a ring. So we have here examples of monocotyledonous plants and dicotyledonous plants. In monocots, we have banana, bamboo, garlic, ginger, rice. In, di in dicots, we have grapes, apples, carrots, eggplants, and rose. Flowers are important for plants to bear fruits. 
and produce seeds. However, there are also plants that do not use flowers for reproduction. These plants are called non-flowering plants, like the ones in the picture. Gymnosperms, they are plants that use cones to house their seeds. They are woody plants and most of them are trees. Look at this example. We have here the pine trees and other trees. Most of them are trees. Bryophytes. What are they? They are the simplest plants and are not well adapted to terrestrial life. Here are the examples of bryophytes. Cornworts, liverworts, mosses. Seedless vascular plants. They have specialized stem that moves water and nutrients from the roots. Some use spores to grow new plants. These are the examples of seedless vascular plants. We have ferns and others. Mosses, they are small plants that produce spores for reproduction instead of seeds and don't grow flowers, wood or true roots. The classification is bryophytes. So this is an example of moss. Ferns. Ferns generally reproduce by producing spores. Similar to flowering plants, ferns have roots, stems, and leaves. The classification of this plant is seedless vascular plants. This is a fern, or these are ferns. Conifers, what are they? Okay, so they produce cone bearing seeds. All living conifers are woody plants, and most are trees. For example, pines or pine trees. Pines are typical examples of conifers. The classification of this plant is gymnosperms. So what is conifers? Conifers are gymnosperms that produce seeds but no flowers. In general, non-flowering plants may be also classified into two main groups. The first group produces spores, while the second group makes seeds to reproduce in the absence of flower as accessory organ. These are examples of herbarium. You're going to have your or to do your own herbarium as indicated in the learning task. So I provided you an example of herbarium. This one, the dried plants that you're going to do it this way. Okay, so I hope you're going to do your own thing so that you can pass your herbarium to your teacher. Learning fast. Please refer to your P work for A modules. And that's all. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you learned something. Please like and share, comment, and subscribe for more video lessons. Thank you and God bless.